I was just getting changed and my coach told me, what? What was that? On the Friday after your last metabolic day, which, sorry, on the Friday after the Thursday of your last metabolic day, go to Mecca's first thing in the morning and get hotcakes. Two packs of hotcakes. Okay? Yo! <laughs> currently 6 a.m. on the dot. Um, I like to get in the gym around 6.15 a.m. I'm not sure if you guys can see me in my camera right now, but there's a bit of a problem with my Canon camera, so I'm using my phone. Hopefully you guys can hear me clearly. Um, we're two weeks out. Well, just over two weeks. Two weeks and three, two weeks and four days. And I'm definitely feeling the effects of cut, especially with winter going on right now. Like, it's freaking cold. It's hard to get up. But, um, I've started my cardio, this is week two of cardio since I did start four weeks out. Um, I'm not liking it, but I do feel tighter every morning. It's just a brisk kind of like walk on the treadmill incline, or I use an elliptical these days because I do hate, I get blisters in the back of my foot. And it's just 30 minutes of cardio just to get my heart rate elevated first thing in the morning. Fasted with a shot of black coffee. Um, I do the black coffee for two things, or well, three things really. Um, one reason is caffeine just helps me focus and also get up in the morning first thing. Second thing I use it for is, I've been told that, it, I forgot where I got the source from, but is that caffeine helps transport fat. Third reason is caffeine obviously gets your heart elevated and with your heart elevated you technically you burn more calories that way I mean you know it's just that little extra 0.1% that helps you but why not take it um, I don't I try not to take too much that I do try to take my caffeine as naturally as possible so by that I mean black coffee and not I try to limit my use of pre-workout out borderline two weeks um, sorry if my energy is low it's like 7 a.m. right there first cardio and time for today is we've got I have an 8 a.m. class and after that I've got a physique update with my coach um, I know I've been doing a lot of physique updates recently and that's simply because we're getting closer to the club so every little thing counts and we want to make as little changes as possible um, I think I'll be dropping calories today We'll see what my coach says. So at the moment I've got 250 grams of white eggs, egg white, sorry, and 100 grams of white fish. I know it's kind of boring right now, but to be honest, at this point in prep, like anything tastes good as long as you've got something in your belly. Um, I mean, you know, further earlier in prep, I would have something like probably a bit of rice with this, toast and eggs but at this point we want to minimal, uh, minimize carbs as much as possible and use them in the right times and for that and for me the right times would be right after a workout where I would need to replenish any glycogen stores for my muscles. Um, also making some black coffee right there as well for me. Little tip, I mean yeah I, I like black coffee and everything but um, I don't like it without any because I've got a major sweet tooth. And for me, I like to use like little pellets of sweeteners. I know people out there would be like, oh, but it's four and it'll damage your body. <sighs> There's no conclusive studies of that. Um, I, if you find one, send me one. Anyways, this is like zero calories. So, I mean, it does the job. I genuinely enjoyed that breakfast. Um, added a bit of soy sauce, so I'll track that later. Um, again, with fasted cardio, um, I don't actually get to explain why I do fasted cardio. A lot of people say um, you burn more calories that way or you tap into your fat stores instead. Um, I haven't actually done proper research on it or actually checked up on it, but one thing I do know for sure as to why I do fasted cardio is that when I eat, I get hungrier. Like, if I if I eat like, something small like a uh, half a banana, if anything, like I start to feel hungry, wanting more. So I'd rather blood my hunger with black coffee and fast 
doing cardio because mid cardio if I have something small to eat I get hungry in the middle of it so it's more of a psychological thing for me to go on the treadmill and do my brisk walk power walking whatever it is and not have anything in my stomach so that's just me that's just preference but just to let you guys know I don't do any hip training or intense cardio to the point where like my heart rate's around 150 140 um, it's just around 125 to 135 for my heart rate so um, to be honest that's not enough to burn any serious glycogen stored in my muscles that way I won't look as flat as I did last year so to summarize the main reason I do passive cardio is mainly more on the psychological side glucose for the rest of the day yeah there's nothing wrong with it yeah because you want to use glucose when you have muscle contraction anyway yeah. so for body correct me wrong for body you'd want to have lost your weight training the preferred source of fuel is glucose oh yeah yep but anyway, if you want to put a set anyway yeah total calories going to be increased. so you're going to utilize body fat later on in the day when you're in the nutrient deficit already you looked a lot more dialed in than last time. That's a good thing. Hmm? More on the lower abs as well. getting changed and my coach told me what? What was that? On the Friday after your last metabolic day, which, sorry, on the Friday after the Thursday of your last metabolic day, go to Macca's first thing in the morning and get hotcakes. Two packs of hotcakes. Okay? Yo! <laughs> Why though? Okay, because we are going to do a mock refeed, so to speak. So that's the stuff we're going to carb load during the first thing in the morning yep. on the comp day. Yeah. Yo, so today's the day. Finally get to have a bite of sugar after sorry it's like 6 30 a.m. I can't math right now. I think after 13 weeks I'll see you guys in Maccas. I think I'll just go I think I'll just do a drive-thru and then order my pancakes. See you soon. What do you want to do? Hi, um can I get one order of the hot cakes? Yeah, thank you. Ah, uh, no, that's it. Thank you. $5.40. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Oh, I can smell it like I was trying so hard not to speak because I just wanted to get home and eat this. Uh, to be honest with you guys, I haven't actually had hot cakes since I was like 14. Let's begin. I thought New Zealand was going plastic free. Oh well. Look at that. I'm freaking so excited I'm shaking and I dropped it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>